I'm really, I'm really stoked with how the year's been, honestly. Like, I think the organisers and you know, Motorcycle and Show have done a really great job. And um, as always, our, our TV coverage is good and uh, with SBS and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't want to speak out of line too soon, but we haven't had a mutter either. And uh, everything's running smoothly. So, um, stoked with how the year's going. I wish we could have years like this all the time. And uh, all the tracks, you know, seem like they've been prepped pretty well this year. And yeah, I'm just stoked with it. Good year so far. Yeah, the biggest adjustment moving into MX1 for me would just be I think the depth of the field, um, you know, in MX2, I think, I feel like myself and Wilson were sort of, you know, the top guys. We obviously had people that were knocking on our doors all the time, but, you know, this MX1 class, there's sort of, you know, seven, eight of us that are, uh, you know, all capable of winning, maybe even more at any time, you know? So um, that, that makes it hard because obviously then um, there's so much variety in, in the results sometimes, and you just never know who's gonna show up on what weekend. Sometimes, you know, uh, a few of the boys have, have come and, and have surprised me a little bit. So we just try to keep our best foot forward and uh, charge to the end. Yeah, things that I need to improve on, I think definitely, um, you know, it, it's it's a hard one. Like I'm still learning the bike, you know. I need to remember that uh, obviously I've been riding really well and I've got some wins and that. And I think sometimes that'll that'll take the shine off the fact that I'm still, uh, still adjusting, you know. Like um, just for an example, you know, the bike that I raced on at Murray Bridge basically would turn up this weekend and pretty much nothing's the same. Like it's just, uh, we're, I'm learning more about the bike every time and um, the difference between testing a 450 and a 250, the window of uh, finding that, that sort of happy medium is really, really small. So uh, yeah, it's just adjusting to the bike and obviously, you know, like there's, there's a bit of a gap at the moment that I'm trying to bridge to the front guys and um, yeah, I think, I think that just comes down to a little bit of, a little bit of bike setup and, and just still learning because I, I know my speeds there, I've won a couple of motos and uh, never, never questioned my ability and stuff like that. So. Uh, yeah, this is, it's just little pieces of the puzzle that are gonna bridge that gap. You know, I don't feel like we're, uh, we're massive, massive strides off, off those guys. It's just, it's just bits here and there every lap. And uh, once, once a little bit more comfort comes, and I think we'll be there. The moto win, uh, yeah, for sure. Definitely feel like the success came early there. Um, didn't expect to get that moto win at Porsche. It just sort of popped up out of nowhere. And then obviously followed up with a, with a second place in, this, in the second moto. And that's probably, that was round two, and that's probably the most consistent round I've had so far. So yeah, it definitely took me by surprise. But um, yeah, obviously with these three Queensland rounds coming, definitely looking forward to having those rounds, and if not bettering them, I definitely want to finish out the year with a with an overall result. And uh, you know, myself and the team deserve it. So looking forward to that. You know, I have got good ability on Supercross and stuff like that. I just feel like uh, maybe I'm a little bit more of a motocross guy just because you know, I don't mind uh, going into a bit of a dark space in those long motos, you know, and when it gets a bit, uh, when it gets a bit hard out there, I always seem to be able to push forward and, um, you know, everyone knows how hard one faggy gets and, um, you know, it, it, that definitely separates the boys and I feel like I can push as hard as I want all the way to the end and, um, you know, obviously still pretty spent by the time I get to the, the, fin the end of the motos, but uh, like happy, to, happy to push that, that far into, like, my body that far and, uh, yeah, but, but at the same time, I, I feel like I ride Supercross well. My results speak for themselves. And um, the last three years in Supercross have all been uh, overall podium results at the end of, end of the season. So it's, uh, I think hopefully, you know, I'm sort of molding myself more into an all-rounder. Yeah, as, as a racer, the expectation is always to win. Um, but I think just have to see where we're at and, uh, you know, see how I'm feeling on the bike. It, it also, it comes down to like, we're gonna have a few different riders that we're racing and stuff like that. And, you know, like I think I've learned over the years just from so many injuries is not to, you know, sometimes not push something that may not be there. So it's more or less just just get through the first one, figure it out, see where we're at, see how I feel on the bike and where the bike's at because I uh, haven't raced the, haven't ridden a KDM 450 on Supercross ever. So um, yeah, there's going to be lots of little things that we're going to adjust to throughout the season. And But uh, as always, like we're racers and we want to do the best we can. So results are always uh, expected from myself.